Hey guys, Dan here from DanceTube.tv and today I'm checking out the Budget GoPro Hero 2018 edition. This was only literally just released, this was a very low key release that not many people knew about. And you can pick up the Hero 2018 edition on Amazon right now, it is 199 US dollars. So if you want to help out the channel and you're interested in this product, then click the link in the description below to check it out. <laughs> Before I jump into this video, I want to give a massive thank you to Aussie Tech, who's helped out with a lot of my other videos, and especially this one. We had a really great time testing out the GoPro Hero 2018. He's got some other videos on his channel of this new product, so I will have a link in the description below if you want to check out his channel. But let's jump into the review of this brand new GoPro that literally came out of nowhere. Now the first thing you'll notice is it looks exactly the same as the GoPro Hero 5 Black, and the GoPro Hero 6 Black. So it's literally the exact same body with the exact same button placement. And this is kind of annoying because there's nothing that makes this look different to the other GoPros. It looks the exact same. Now this is a negative and a positive. The negative is the fact that you really don't have any unique feel to the camera. It's literally the exact same body. But then the benefit is you get a full waterproof body and a screen straight out of the box. You don't have to have any case on it. It's all built into the unit. So that can be seen definitely as a positive. But I know that when I reviewed the original budget GoPro, it did have a completely different look and it actually did stand out as a budget GoPro. So that's something that I actually really liked about the previous version. Now, when you compare this budget hero with the Hero 6 Black, you will see that there are some slight differences, but for the price point, this hero is a really awesome starter action camera, a really great budget action camera and GoPro for anyone that doesn't have one or would like to maybe have something that's cheap for their travel options. Now this new hero shoots in 1080p at 60 frames per second. It can also take 10 megapixel still photos and on top of that it has the waterproof body where the Hero 6 can shoot 4K 60 and it can take 12 megapixel stills. Another thing that's slightly different is the stabilization. Well, let's say drastically different. The Hero 6 has this amazing smooth advanced stabilization while the Hero seems to have the Hero 5 stabilization, which really wasn't crash hot. It's dodgy when you move quite a lot, and it doesn't do a fantastic job of stabilizing quick movement. Now, the Hero 6 also has the brand new GP1 chip, which the budget Hero doesn't, and the budget Hero is also not Karma compatible, so you can't use it on your Karma drone if anyone actually owns one of those things anymore. Now, on top of that, you also miss out on a lot of the high-end options, so you don't have Pro Tune, you don't have exposure control, no touch zoom, and no HDR photo capture. So they've definitely limited a lot of these features with the budget hero. You can also see through the menu system that there's very limited options. It's very simplistic, which I guess lends itself to that budget area. It means that if someone's picking up a GoPro for the first time, then they will be able to pick this up and use it very easily. The menu system is extremely easy. And on top of that, you can actually shoot in 1440p at 60 frames per second, which seems to be something that's relatively popular in a lot of these action cameras, but I would prefer to use 1080p at 60, which the footage actually seems to be quite nice. You can see that the color options in the Hero 6 are drastically better, but for a cheap GoPro, this budget GoPro is actually really decent. The image is solid, the audio is actually really decent as well, which I will give you a little bit of a test now to show you what it sounds like. This is an audio test with the budget GoPro Hero 2018 edition. So let me know what you think in the comments below of the audio. Is it any good? Can you still hear me? Hello? Mate? Yeah? I think that the audio is pretty decent in this cheap unit, and even having a case around it so that you can put the GoPro onto a pole doesn't seem to muffle the audio too much. It's actually a relatively decent audio system in this cheap GoPro. You can take video, photo, burst photo, there's the option for time-lapse video and time-lapse photo, and you also have a auto low light feature as well. You also have the option of wide, medium, and narrow field of view. For all of this video here, we shot in 1080p in wide. There are a few 
few shots that were shot in 30 frames per second and a few that were shot in 60 frames per second. The shots that were slowed down will be the 60 frames per second shots that I've just slowed down slightly. I did want to mention that the body is waterproof straight out of the box down to 10 meters. It's the exact same body as the Hero 5 and Hero 6, so it's extremely reliable. It also uses the exact same batteries as the Hero 5 and Hero 6, so if you have one of those and for some reason want the budget one, like I mentioned for travel or something, then you can use the same batteries. You also have a relatively responsive 2 inch touchscreen on the back that seems to work really well. Like I mentioned, there are very limited options, so most of the time you're going to have the settings ready and you're just going to be shooting straight away. Um, this does actually include the voice control, which worked really well. I've got some shots of us testing that out, and the voice control works just as well as the 5 and 6. Very responsive, um, sometimes I would speak too quickly and it was kind of in the process of doing something and wouldn't pick up my voice. But if I gave it a little bit of time to do its thing, then it was pretty responsive most of the time, which I was impressed with. GoPro, start recording. GoPro, stop recording. GoPro, take photo. GoPro, take photo. GoPro, turn off. GoPro, turn off. This unit also has Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, so you can connect to the GoPro app and do whatever you really have to do on your phone or with different accessories. That also means that all the accessories will work on this unit as well. Um, I did mention previously that this will not work on the Karma, so that's one of the small downsides. But besides that, this is pretty much the exact same experience as the Hero 5 and Hero 6 in terms of what you can use it for. Um, it, like I mentioned, it does limit a lot of these features and a lot of the functionality, but it's just a dumbed down version of a higher end camera and they've done a really good job here and it is still still relatively cheap. It's GoPro though, so it's probably more expensive than it really should be. But for GoPro, this is pretty cheap for them, and I'm pretty excited to see how this thing goes in the market. So overall, I think this could be a perfect entry-level action camera. If you don't own an action camera and you're looking for one, if you're going to be traveling soon, if you would like that GoPro name and that variety of accessories, without limiting the amount of money that you have for your holiday, for example, then this could be a pretty solid budget choice, I guess. This is a pretty decent camera at the end of the day. You've got 1440p at 60 frames or 1080p at 60 frames. I will mention that there's no option for 720p. There's no other options in the menu for ProTune or any sort of color profiles or exposure. Nothing like that. It's very basic and bare minimum. It's just you take it out, you shoot, and that's what you're going to get. You can't really do much else with it. But I guess it is an entry-level GoPro, so that's what they're going for here. Like I mentioned earlier on in the video, there are benefits and negatives to them having the exact same design. The exact same design means that obviously it's cheaper for them to manufacture. It means that it's 10 meters waterproof straight out of the box. It means that the battery is the exact same and you have the exact same button layout, but it doesn't look any different. So you don't have a drastically different looking camera here. It's pretty much the exact same or it is the exact same as the Hero 5 and Hero 6. The only difference is the text on the camera that says either Hero, Hero 5 or Hero 6. That's literally the only difference. So this is a really good starting camera. The footage looks quite nice. It's honestly quite a nice image straight out of the box. The stabilization is not too good. It really doesn't look that fantastic when you're moving around. It jumps a lot and wobbles a lot and it does not do a fantastic job of stabilizing your footage which really sucks. The screen is quite responsive and overall the experience is pretty decent. I felt like this was a really decent budget camera and Honestly, if you're in the market for something cheap, this could be something that you're looking for. If you don't have the money to pick this camera up from Amazon, then you can check out Harvey Norman Capella Bar, where they have different financing options. They also have a new leasing option, which is aptly named Lisa. So they have different options there if you don't have the money to buy this product straight away. So check that out, guys. But that's all I've got, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think. I think this is a really good entry-level GoPro. And if you're in the market for one, then definitely check it out. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to have a splendid day. And peace out.